role of gut health in fertility. Your gut does much more than digest, absorb and excrete the food you eat. Your gut influences the health of every system in your body. It's responsible for the proper functioning of your immune system, how you think and feel, how you make and excrete hormones, and it also influences your fertility. If you're struggling with infertility or are just starting out on your fertility journey, understanding, healing and supporting your gut is essential as our gut highly influences our reproductive potential. Poor gut health affects the absorption of nutrients needed to support egg and sperm health and impacts hormone balance. Research has found that women with recurrent pregnancy loss show a higher prevalence of undiagnosed gut disorders. Women with recurrent pregnancy loss were found to have abnormal gut permeability, otherwise known as leaky gut, which is a digestive condition in which food, bacteria and toxins are able to leak through the intestinal wall and can cause immune reactions. Now the gut microbiome, which is the trillions of bugs that reside in our gut, is responsible for, con for converting bound estrogen to free active estrogen via an enzyme called beta-glucuronidase. Now without a healthy mi microbiome, estrogen breakdown and function can become impaired and may lead to health issues, including things like endometriosis, polycystic ovarian syndrome, and infertility. And did you know that over 70% of our immune system resides in our gut? When our immune system is not working optimally, our body may enter a state of chronic, chronic inflammation, which can increase miscarriage risk, decrease progesterone, affect implantation, hormone balance, and the development of autoimmune diseases, which can impact fertility, and also the development of anti-sperm antibodies, preventing fertilization. So what are the gut symptoms we should be looking out for? Well, things like bloating, excessive gas, constipation or diarrhea, and stomach pain. But there are also non-gut symptoms that you might notice if your digestive system is not working properly, such as allergies, getting frequent colds, and constant hunger or certain cravings, headaches, brain fog, skin issues, joint pain, mood symptoms, and low energy. But the good news is there's lots we can do to support our gut health and digestion. For example, preparing our own food. Your digestion begins even before you eat. So anticipating, smelling, cooking and enjoying food helps us to salivate, which triggers the release of the chemicals or enzymes that will break down our food. And then chewing is really important. We need to chew our food to baby food consistency, which breaks down our food and allows chemicals to act on it. We don't have teeth in our stomach. So it's really important we do the chewing, you know, the chewing work before we swallow our food. Mindful eating is important. So eating your meals sat down at a table, concentrating and being mindful whilst eating helps your body divert its efforts to digestion. And then it's important to eat plenty of fibre rich foods, particularly from vegetables and fruit and fermented foods as well. These encourage the growth of good bacteria. So foods like kefir, kombucha and fermented vegetables. Keeping hydrated is important, so drinking plenty of water to help aid digestion and helps absorb the nutrients from food. But it's also important to limit foods whilst we're, whilst we're eating, because drinking water during mealtimes can dilute your digestive juices. Also make sure you practice stress management techniques so that you're eating in a relaxed state. If we eat on the move or when stressed, our body will prioritise digestion. So try taking a few deep breaths before you start eating to relax your body. So really the important message here is that gut health highly influences our reproductive potential and that there's a strong connection between the gut and fertility.